make a CO2 generator. A cheap and easy one to make. The only tools you're going to need a pair of snips, a silicone, and I use a torch, but you don't need a torch. And for materials, you need a five gallon bucket with a lid, and you need a little bowl. You need a little piece of hose, air hose. You need an air pump. An aquarium, this is an aquarium air pump I got at Walmart for like uh, 20 bucks, something like that. And an aquarium heater that I got at Walmart for about the same price. So these are all the materials you're going to need. <laughs> and let's get building. Okay, first. I'm going to cut this center hole out. To make that easier, I'm going to heat it up a little bit. See, this is where it's optional. You don't need to do this, but it sure makes it a lot easier to cut. Okay, don't need that. You can clean that up as best you want. It's not really important. What is important is that you have a hole for is this heater. So, well, it's one of the reasons. You're going to want to drop the heater in there. And this one's got a suction cup so you can put it right down on the bottom. I'll do that now so I get the right leg to pour it in there. Okay, here's the air pump. It's going to sit there on top of the hole. So, you can use crazy glue or you could just use silicone to glue it down in place because you don't want it vibrating around. So now, you just silicone this bowl down. Just use your finger to make the seal up real good. You need this thing to be sealed. Now, just gotta put something on top of there to make sure it stays down. I'm gonna use a five pound weight. Just to make sure that that stays sealed where I want it to be. It's been a couple hours. So the way this works is uh, I'm going to fill this up about a third of the way with water and some uh, couple cups of sugar and some yeast. Put the lid on it. Plug the air pump in. The only place that this pump can get air from will be from inside here and that will be CO2. And with this hose, you want to run this into your grow room or your tent, whatever. So you plug your core, your pump into a timer so that when the lights go out, the pump stops. So on this, you can put a little T on there. You can uh, make a big loop, poke a bunch of holes in there, put that over top of your garden, and then uh, you can just rain down CO2 on top of your plants. Or you can put this behind a fan and just have it uh, oscillating and blowing CO2 into your room, however you want to do it. It works good. So, let's close the look. One more time. Lots of silicone around to make sure everything is sealed. And that's that. CO2 generator.